Hello, it's your main man, the Pan Man, and I got some updates for you, uh, specifically for Sonic GBA, uh, the Discord, and eGuides. Uh, can't wait to talk about eGuides, alright. Everything in this little update video can be summarized into two points. The first is that I am lowering my uh, membership pricing. Uh, for those that had an interest in supporting me. And also, I am moving on to Patreon and YouTube memberships. Hence the join button down below, as some of you may have noticed. Let me start with Sonic GBA first. There's a little bit of information that isn't too relevant for this video. I just wanted to get it out while I had the chance. Firstly, if you're new to the project, welcome. Happy to have you here. Uh, this is a passion project I started, and I hope to make it like a, like a big thing eventually. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, for you Sonic fans, I just wanted to tell you the release order for the next three tracks in advance for uh, Light Dash. Light Dash's last three songs is going to be Chow Ruins, Emerald Town, and the famous Green Hill Zone redone by Light Dash. For those interested, this is a revamp from the 2019-2020 uh, remix I did. Hope you're looking forward to that. That's going to be a, a personal favorite of mine too. So, if you haven't been following the band chats that I post on YouTube uh, community or YouTube post, whatever you call it, uh, the goal or the framework was for the first band, Light Dash, to play six songs and then band two will play for six songs and then Light Dash will just be alternating between the new band. So for example, uh, right now we are here, Light Dash is currently on their six songs. After their six songs, band two plays their six songs. Then we go back to Light Dash for another six songs. After that, we go to band three for six songs, then Light Dash for six songs, then band four, which will help to close out the Sonic Battle arc. Uh, to which after that, we will move on to Sonic Advance. But for now, we're still up here right now. Uh, Chow Ruins, Emerald Town, and Green Hill Zone, in that order. Uh, for any curious, production of the next band has already started on the back end. I'm already writing documents. Uh, I actually should be contacting artists fairly soon. Second, uh, the big update to the Sonic GBA project. I want the big highlight of this project to be the various Sonic OCs that I'm introducing inside of my, uh, my own little Sonic OC universe here. As such, every video released so far for the Sonic GBA project has had a little uh, band chat or, or group chat, whatever you want to call it, just having like a, like casual conversations with each other in addition to reacting to their own music. Like you get to see the personalities and uh, get a glimpse of their dynamic uh, without signing up to that uh, private blog. Speaking of, this private blog I just mentioned is called the Meta Blog. I've been building this alongside with the music for Light Dash and the Sonic OCs. Uh, the Meta Blog basically goes over everything you would want to know about a particular Sonic OC that I've created. So all of the members of the band, I got like little character profiles. For those of you that know uh, Genshin Impact, I have characters talking about other characters as if they're in like a little interview. <laughs> Anyway, the Meta Blog has been locked behind a paywall up until this point. The big reason being is I wanted to split it between free and paid content, uh, but I wasn't sure exactly when I would have enough content to do that, so I started off by locking it up. Uh, that is no longer a concern. Thanks to the band checks and the track breakdowns, I'll get to that in a minute, uh, I've managed to curate enough free content to split the Meta Blog between free and paid content like I wanted to do before. So basically, all of the band chats, the, the previous band chats, in case you don't like going through YouTube posts or you keep missing the posts or whatever, the band chats are getting stored on the Meta Blog for free. You don't have to have an account, you don't have to support me, you can just go on the site right now and you can take a look at it. Uh, another thing that I'm making for free inside of the Meta Blog is track breakdowns, like I just mentioned. So if you are curious in the production side of things or want a little bit of insight into some of the creative decisions I've made for any of the songs for the uh, Sonic GBA project, uh, I put them under track breakdowns. Uh, they're called in-depth, like for example, title string in-depth. Those are being stored on the Meta Block for free as well. With the band chats and the track breakdowns, there's no like hidden chat or hidden breakdown or anything like that. They're all available for free. You're not missing out on anything specific if you decide not to support me. Every new track that will be released in the future is going to include a band chat and a track breakdown. So that that's reoccurring free content. Now, in addition, to the band track and the track breakdowns, 
I am offering six articles from the paid version, plus a art gallery that, of course, will be getting updated as new art is released for the project. Between the band tracks, track breakdown, the art gallery, and the six paid articles I'm offering for free, you should get a very clear sense of what exactly the Meta Blog offers. And of course, if there's any suggestions you want me to add to the Meta Blog, please feel free to comment down below. Specifically, I really want you to take a look at the Observatory and the White Gash's band profile. Uh, between those two, you get a better scope and idea of specifically how I'm constructing the band, uh, how I'm thinking about what kind of music we're going to play, how I'm approaching different songs or different soundtrack concepts, all that good stuff. Like I said before at the update video, I want to build these bands with you over time. Uh, Sonic Battles bands are well flushed out, but uh, Sonic Advance, uh, it's becoming a little more flushed out. But anyway, uh, case in point, I don't have a real name for uh, band three or band four. Also, I actually don't know what band is going to play Tails' Lab or Holy Summit in the Sonic Battle arc currently here. So um, definitely uh, take a listen and take a look at that and see if you can help me come up with something. Comment down below, comment in your like favorite platform. Uh, I'll take a platform in a minute. But yeah, with that, selective content is now available on the Meta Block for free. So go ahead and press on the link in the description if you have an interest in seeing what I got cooking. And of course, if you want full access to the Meta Block, you have to support me on either Discord memberships, YouTube memberships, or Patreon. Moving on, before inside of the Discord, I offer my works in progress for uh, royalty-free music and uh, sonic music. And I'm, I'm going to do e-guides, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, that's been locked behind a paywall too. And I've decided to just open that up to the Discord uh, for free, exclusively for the Discord. So if you have an interest in what I got cooking, you have to join the Discord. Uh, of course, I'll post these on uh, YouTube memberships and Patreon, but the big like highlight of the series that I wanted to have the Discord, I, I wanted the Discord to have a bit more utility. Like if you were to go there right now as a free member, there's really not much to do. I thought you guys were like playing with box, but uh, like I said, I'm not a social media guy. And I, I was completely wrong about that. <laughs> uh, we, got a, we got a nice chunk of engagement at the start there, but that, that got off really quickly. My fault. Cause you know, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyway, I figured like having something to look at there, something to kind of like unify the community, j just something to do there uh, that I can offer without it being too strenuous on me. I decided to offer work in progress exclusively on the Discord. Uh, for those in the Discord, you should be seeing some changes to the Discord as time progresses. Now, of course, I'll also show my work in progress on Patreon and YouTube memberships. But if you want to see what I have cooking for free without signing up to anything, uh, you have to join the Discord. Uh, to clarify, this is going to be a free Discord exclusive. You do not have to support me just to see the works in progress. You just have to be in the server. Now, for royalty-free music fans, uh, not much is changing for you guys. Uh, there's still the 50%, there's still the 100%, depending on which tier that you're grabbing. Uh, the big thing, though, for you guys is the observatory. Uh, if you remember from my channel update video, the observatory is basically an idea bank that you can use to upload any idea that I come up with. Uh, I'm exploring solutions that allow you to like write your own idea in and then have other backers like updated and give me like a statistical sheet so I can look at it properly. Not there yet, I'm still working on that. But anyway, because I'm going multi-platform now, the observatory cannot be in the Discord by itself. So I've decided to give the observatory, take it out of the Discord and put it on its own page and on my website. Uh, as far as like how it will work, it's basically like the meta blog, where like in the meta blog, once you support me, I give you like a login credential, a special login for a username and password. Uh, for the observatory, it's just a password. So I update the password every week and send it through all of the, uh, the platforms I'm supporting. And you guys, if you have an interest, you can take a look at it, upvote your favorite idea that way. And if you're new to the observatory, uh, again, it's basically an idea bank where you can upload ideas, but it also gives you insight to what my plans are for the royalty free series uh, that's right it's not just me making like a bunch of random music to sell there's like some sort of a plan in place here uh, some of you may have picked up on that when you caught me uploading a uh, dungeon music for like a few weeks straight next big thing e-guides <laughs> what the fuck is happening with e-guides 
Like, you keep saying it's part of the model. You keep saying it's that third piece. Where the fuck is it? Like, <laughs> if you remember my uh, channel update, I talked about my uh, my first e-guide. My first e-guide, the uh, Game Music Remix series. How it was already live and already ready and, like, uh, I need feedback. So you can download it for free if you want to, if you have an interest in all that good stuff. So I had to basically redo all of that. Uh, not, not the content. What I mean is um, I, I basically shadow dropped it. Uh, if you're new to that term, it means that I did no marketing whatsoever. I made no effort to communicate to any potential onlookers what's inside of it, what you get out of it, and how it helps you. Uh, things of that nature. Uh, the term I've come to understand for the circumstance is product launching, which I, I can't even say I did a shit job at. I did nothing. <laughs> so in short, I, I'm basically doubling back on the remix series guide. I'm going to... I like basically try my hand at marketing it better. To that end, my solution was to create a video series, a free video series that will be posted here on YouTube that highlights exactly what's in the remix series guide, how it helps you, and how it can benefit you, and how it help push, how it can help push your business forward depending on what you're doing. So if this product launching strategy works, then I can recycle it for other guides, which is the main reason why I wanted to double back here. So I'm using this as like a like a practice for other guides. Uh, side note by the way uh, if you're a fan of my mario kart series or fusion fall i actually use both of those series as a demonstration tool so if you want insight on some of the ideas or uh what i was thinking what was going through my head back when i was creating those series definitely check out the video series regardless now back to the video series as you would guess, I have never done something like this before, so of course it's been a slow process, uh, especially with my week-to-week uh, -week model. So GBA one week, one full week, royalty-free another week, and then e-guides. I've only been working on it on the uh, e-guide e -guide week. But yeah, it's been a very slow process for me because I'm like, learning every little thing as I go. There's recording myself, there's writing scripts, there's recalling stories to tell, there's re-recording myself, there's rewriting scripts that don't work. After all that, me realizing that some of the content inside of the video series can and should go inside of the e-guide. So I had to rewrite the e-guide to which doing that, I found fluff. Fluff after fluff after fluff coming back to it with uh, fresh eyes here. And I'm like, I'm developing a lot of respect for like content creators that do this shit on a daily. <laughs> this shit is age, bro. Like, <laughs> you can tell I'm new on it. Uncomfortable. Over-explaining concepts. Like, <laughs> I'm dying, bro. <laughs> Anyway, if it fails this time, I promise I'll move on and start writing, like, other guides. Because, like, the next guide I want to do is more like a composition guide to help people write music better. Um, I'm gonna call it something like, like, game music composition, uh, which I think has a little more utility and a little more reach. <laughs> For example, write like your main man the pan man, yep. <laughs> now, the fact that I'm talking about this will make you think that it's actually alive and ready to go, right? Uh, close. The videos are finally done and... They're, they're ready for processing, they're ready for editing, and uh, I'm aiming for a release before September. I'm going to say late August, but I'm, I really want it out before September. Oh, uh, side note, I might take a break from royalty-free music just for that e-guide series. The way I want to do it, uh, I don't want any other content kind of interfering with it. Uh, Sonic GBA, Chow Ruins might have to be an exception to that, but for sure I'm probably going to take a break from royalty-free uploads. Alright, almost finished here. The last two points uh, basically go over what I said at the start of this update video. Uh, I am moving on to Patreon and YouTube memberships in addition to Discord memberships. So Discord's not going anywhere. I'm just I'm just expanding to two other platforms uh, in case some of you guys aren't comfortable with Discord or find it more comfortable to support me on platforms that you may be more familiar with like YouTube or Patreon. Uh, speaking of, never interacted or have had to interact with Patreon in any way, so that'll be an interesting experience. <laughs> I saw the dashboard and it looked, looked a little different, but I think I can figure it out. And of course, the uh, pricing system has been lowered as well. Uh, consistent through all three platforms, by the way. So as far as the new model, it's going to look something like this. For free content, we have selective posts from the Metal Blog for those Sonic GBA fans. We also have works in progress for both royalty-free and e-guides. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to include Sonic GBA in that. Uh, if I do, it's probably going to be the, the raw drafts that I'm writing. 
But for sure, I'm going to be offering Sonic GBA works in progress inside of the lowest tier. Uh, in the lowest tier, you also get full access to the Mega Blog. So that you basically get like a private account that has a set username and a set password that gets updated every week. And that unlocks all the content inside of the Mega Blog. Of course, there's the usual uh, backer support inside videos. You get your name listed inside of a video. And you also get access to early releases. So I like to upload bulk, especially royalty free music. Whenever day I upload those batch videos is the day you are able to click on them and see them. So you get access to videos before they're live to the public. The middle tier is the same as it was in the previous model. You get 50% off all of my digital products, uh, royalty free music and e-guide. Uh, side note, at some point, this is like, this is literally just a thought. It's not going anywhere yet. I'm thinking about doing like full blown video courses. Uh, comment down below if you have an interest in that in any way. If I decide to make that, I'll probably toss that inside of the uh, middle tier or the, uh, the high tier as well, so you guys can get like discount codes off that. Back to the middle tier, you get access to the observatory. Uh, similar to the mega block, there's just a password, no username, just a password protected page that I update every week inside of those platforms. And lastly, the highest tier is basically still the same as it was previously. Uh, instead of 50% off digital products, you get 100% off digital products. Uh, these are lifetime coupon codes, by the way. As long as you're supporting me, like you'll have access to those codes. Grab whatever you need from me. And also, I'm including project shoutouts in that. If you have a project that you're working on and you have a hard time getting some eyeballs on it, I will allow you to upload that project onto my channel to help get it some more visibility. But that's really it. Um, I'm editing the prices down below here for you. You can take a look. Both the Patreon and the YouTube membership is now live. If you have an interest, you can go ahead and click on those right now and start supporting me, and I'll get those codes out to you as soon as I can. But yeah, that's it for the update. Panny's been cooking, I promise. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't give up on this model, and I'm just got to make some adjustments for it. Please, please give me some feedback if I'm doing something stupid. I need to know, bro. <laughs> I want to say fuck you to my boss, all right? I'm, re I'm ready for that. <laughs> uh, one final thing. Uh, again, this is like way out into the future, but at some point I am thinking about reopening commissions and custom music. I, I need this model to become stable for me so I can implement that properly. Uh, the last thing I want is to burn myself out on other projects. I'm uh, trying to work on my own project and get my get my business straight. So please, if you think I can do something better or improve something, like comment down below for the business model and just, just help me out. Like. <laughs> But anyways, that, that's still like down the line, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, for now, thank you so much for watching this video, and hopefully I will see you guys in the Game Music Remix series video series. Uh, that's it for your main man, the Pan Man. I will talk to you guys later.